Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Yep, you're not seeing things wrong. Multiple audio tracks is here. We've got multiple audio tracks, we've got transitions, and we're gonna dive into Canva and have a look. I'm gonna show you exactly how I've made this quick video. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you tied a rope to me. For those of you that are new here, my name is Darren Meredith. I'm a Canva certified creative and a Canva creator. And that means I get to see things like a little bit before sometimes that you'll get to see them. And one of the things that I've been working with Canva on is the new video features coming out soon. We've been given permission that we can share these with you. You might not see them straight away, or it might you might not see them for another week or so, but bear in mind that this is a first look and you won't be able to just dive into Canva and straight away and have a look and see these on your Canva screen, if you like. But let's dive into Canva and show you exactly what we've got coming. Okay, I am gonna be showing you a few different workarounds because when you see, or when you go into Canva, these video features are only gonna be, first of all, shown on actual, when you create a template that is a video template. So if you create like an Instagram post or a Facebook post or something else, you're not going to see the video features. However, what you can do is create a video post at a normal 1920 by 1080 resolution or 1080p resolution and then resize that for Instagram and things like that. But let's dive in and first of all, have a look at how we get set up with this. So here we are, we're in Canva and we're gonna have a look and create a design. And first of all, I'm gonna create a video. I'm just gonna look for video and you'll see here on video, it's 1920 by 1080. So here we are, we're in the video and nothing much looks too different. First of all, we've got, you know, the normal timing for the page. We can add an extra page in here. I'm just gonna put that in there. But then you'll notice when you add two different pages, these are both different blank pages at the moment. You've got two little icons, one's to add a page and one's to add a transition. So you can add these transitions in between your pages. And we're gonna dive into more of a bit of a look at that, but I'm just showing you the kind of like that outlook or the kind of like layout at the moment of this. And then what we've got down here is we've got this little switch. So you can either zoom the page, you'll see the icon, it's at the top. So it'll either zoom the page, you can see that top bit is showing there. And we're gonna put fit on that one. If I click this little icon to the left here though, we that'll expand or shrink our actual timeline. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw some bits on here and have a look. What I've done is I've created a little drone video and that's just using some of the stock footage. But I'm also gonna get some clips from Epidemic Sound. Now, the music is really good in Canva and is backed by Epidemic Sound. It all comes from Epidemic Sound. But with Epidemic Sound, you'll get some extra kind of like sound effects, the swooshes, whooshes, and you won't have to worry too much about um, the, the copyright strikes side of things because what you do need to do is when you export your video from Canva is make sure that you connect your social media accounts. So I'm just gonna pick some stock footage. I'm gonna come down to videos. If you don't see videos in your list here, if you scroll down, you can come down to the more option and then when you click more, you'll see it in here. These are some videos that I've been playing with this morning. So we've got some drone footage. I'm just gonna right click that and set video as background. I'm gonna click on my next one. I'm gonna click on this one and just click that and set that as video background. Now I wanna trim these up a little bit. I'm just gonna have, I'm just for the sake of it, I'm gonna trim them up. And you'll see this is where the timeline feature or the shrink of the timeline feature comes in really handy because it stops you having to scroll all the way to the left. So I can now bring that in. I don't want it to be that long. I'm only gonna want it to be kind of like about three or four seconds. And we're gonna adjust these later on once we've added some audio. So here we go. We've got that. And then normally what you'd see is it normally flick to that. So first of all, let's have a look at the transitions. We've got a little cross dissolve, which will allow that. And then we've got a slide. So on the cross dissolve, you can say how long it's gonna be, up to one and a half seconds, or a really quick cross dissolve. You've got slide, and that'll slide in either from the top, the bottom, the left, or the right. You've got circle swipe, and you can change that either to be in or out. Reminds me a little bit too much of a star wipe, 
very much now I'll be using circle swipe and then you've got line wipe which kind of just does this kind of thing my favorite one is you know the classic cross dissolve so we're going to just click on that cross dissolve and now you'll see when we come down to these two clips that you do have that little subtle cross dissolve in there and you can come in and you can adjust that do check these two though sometimes it's quite easy to click on the add page and sometimes at the moment as i say it is in beta at the moment sometimes this transition button doesn't quite show up once it's been added and then you can just click on that you can adjust it if you wanted to so that's a quick look at the transitions next we're going to have a look at audio so i'm going to look at some audio that i've uploaded so i've got these from um what's it called epidemic sound and the first audio track we've got is one called the winner and actually i'm gonna click this one this one is directly in canva and i'll just change the volume of this so i don't deafen you all and you'll just see that this all like that that'll just come on there and i'm gonna add a, another page as well and we're gonna add this one in and you can also as well as trimming down the bottom here you can also so if i set this video as the background i'm gonna you can also come up here to trim the video so i'm just going to trim that down to around about four seconds so there we go we've got a little video there it's around just over 10 seconds long and we've got our audio track me safe. now i thought well what about if in this one because it's a, it's a drone and yes it's kind of like normally quiet and peaceful but what if i wanted to add a little bit of a helicopter noise in there so i came over to epidemic sound and i can just type in here sound effects for a helicopter and i've got all these different kind of like helicopter noises some subtly different to others and the one i chose to go with is i've got it here in my uploads so all you do is when you come to Epidemic Sound and there's a 30 day free trial of Epidemic Sound down in the link in the description below, do give that a go. Have a play about with some of the different sound effects, some of the different stings. You've got a lot more music in Epidemic Sound than you do in Canva. And by having an Epidemic Sound account, you'll link your videos or your social media accounts in Epidemic Sound and therefore you're probably less likely to get a copyright strike. Um, by using that so all you do is you find the one that you want and you can come to download you can also add to playlist and find similar if it's not quite the track that you're looking for or it's something that you want to kind of like find something additional but sounds very similar to that track then you can come down to find similar and then if you're doing tracks kind of like back to back or you're looking for multiple audio tracks within a video that you're doing that you want to have a similar sound but are not actually the same then you can come down and you can find similar there and that that function works really well so what you'd see is when you're back in canva is you've got your video or your videos here in sequence you've got your main music in the background and normally if you wanted to add kind of like any kind of sound effects or anything else like that you weren't able to do that you'd have to export it re-import it and then choose to add your sound effect but you couldn't choose which part of the clip to put those sound effects on it just kind of came on at the beginning and that was it not anymore not anymore here's the helicopter sound so you can see now in the background i'm going to turn the volume of this down a little bit as well because i just want it to be a subtle helicopter noise but you'll see all i've done is i've clicked on that and it's added multiple tracks now here comes a little bit of the magic and one of the things that i'm most excited about with the multiple audio tracks is i can now change where this starts and ends so i can just change that to start there and i just double click on this and i can choose which part of the clip i want it to play so if i wanted this to i can get it to start just there so it comes on like a circle. and there you go there's your chopper noise in the background and i thought well what about if I want a different helicopter noise or a third track? So what I've got is I've got, I think it's this one. Yeah, so I just click on this one. And then I can put that in here. 
and they can just change and adjust the volume. So each time you click on one of the tracks, you can come up, up here, oops, you can come up here to adjust the volume on each of these tracks individually. And this is the same for the video. If there was sound on the video, then you'd come up and you change those. And you can just click. It doesn't allow you to trim it if you click down here, which is really bizarre. But if you do click up here, it allows you to just click crop up here, which is really helpful. Okay, so let's have a look. How does this look and how does this sound? You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And okay, so what if we wanted to add a transition or some kind of like titles at the beginning and maybe even do like a little bit of a voiceover? Well, you can do that. You can actually do that. The easiest way to do that is when you're in Canva, it's if in your first clip, so you can choose where the elements come on, is you can just duplicate this clip. Now you'll see this is three seconds and this is three seconds. So say I remove or change my first one down to one second, and then from the edge here, I can then reduce that by the one second. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually remove the transition in between those two clips. So what they actually do is they will play. There's a slight little jump in there. No, there isn't now. It was just, just the way it looked there. But you can now play that and it looks like it's actually playing seamlessly. So what you're doing is you're, say you've got a 10 second clip. If you put that into, say like split that up into two five second clips, or you can have a two second clip and then an eight second clip at the end. As long as you're moving that kind of like cut so that each bit kind of like matches up that way, then what that means is that I can actually start this video, but actually have my transition come on in the second clip. And it looks like it's being delayed or coming on later on in the clip. And I know this is one of the things that I get asked most of the time is how can I choose when my elements come on and off the screen. And this is a little bit of a workaround I found that works. So if I want, I've got another screen here. I'm just gonna copy a little graphic that I've added in there. So what I can do now is I can just come in, I'm just gonna paste this in here. And now when this comes in, you can see, that just comes in like that. Now I can also start adding transitions so I can animate these in. So I can fade that in. I can add typewriter effect to the text, which is really good. And even the background, I can, I've got that set as pan. So now when this clip plays, I'm going to just click play on this. You can see the actual transition of those, both the elements, the text and the background, and it's also delayed. So you can choose which part of the actual frame or the which part of the video you want your elements to come on what about if you wanted to add a little bit of a talking point in there well you can do that too you can come over and you can choose record yourself under the upload section so i can click here and i can click choose record yourself now i've got my video camera on here my webcam kind of like not attached at the moment but normally you'd come on and you'd attach your webcam or choose your camera here. And then I can either choose a default or I've got my Rode into USB, which is this microphone here. And then I can just click on start recording on here. So I click on start recording and then say, I wanted to say something like, visit our website to find out more or something, something along those lines. I'm really, I'm not a voiceover artist. So I'm gonna click back to editing because I've actually, because I've got my microphone recording this. I don't want that to interrupt with this at the moment. So what I've done is I've uploaded a video clip. So it just recorded a video clip. Now, what if I want to, again, at the end, this video clip at the end is four seconds long. So I'm gonna duplicate this four seconds. And this one, I'm gonna change this down to three seconds. So I want an extra second at the end of that or longer. So I'm gonna choose this down to three seconds. This clip here now is a second long. And if I wanted to, I could make that 
a little bit longer and I can come down, click on the audio tracks. And once I click on the audio tracks, that then allows those to expand a little bit. So what I want on this last little bit here, this least three seconds, is I just want to put our website. So all I've got on this last little clip here with that highlighted, click on that and I'm going to paste it in there. And I want to just say in this, this last little bit here, I want to say visit our website to find out more. So what I'm going to do is on this last, with this last video clip selected, I'm actually going to click on this little video that I've visit uploaded. Visit our website to find out more. Visit our website to find out more. Okay, so that's a little video clip that I did that's, our... got the, that's got the audio. Now all I want to do is I'm going to come in, I'm going to crop this, not crop it, I'm going to snip website this. To find out more. And... more. Visit our... And it's around about there that I want. So it's just by the 1300 clip there. Okay. And I want to bring that in. Visit our website to find out more. And I find that having the rulers on kind of like helps me kind of like figure out where this is. I hope at some point they add the wave format in here because that'll help as well. But adding the rulers, that's a nice little trick here. If you want to add the rulers on so you can see where it's going along, you just come over to file and show rulers so there you go now what we've got is we've got this little clip so visit our website to find out more visit our website to find out more there you go visit our website to find out more but hang on a minute this is a big black box we don't want that just change the transparency of the box it's now not on there what you can do sometimes is you can just move it backwards however because i've set the video to the background you'll see that it doesn't move it behind the background because the video is set to the background. So you can't put something behind that. So now what you've ended up with is this little video clip. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. Visit our website to find out more. That's how you can add multiple audio tracks. Have a play about with it. Have a play about with Epidemic Sound and how you can do that. As I say, it's in beta at the moment, so that's why it might be, seem a little bit buggy on how I'm doing things, but I'm so excited to see what you guys are gonna create with this. And if you're not a member already, do join my Facebook group, Better Content Creators. I'd love to, for you to share in there the videos that you're creating using these new features when they are rolled out over the coming weeks. If you've got any questions about this or you want to know anything more or any future video updates, don't forget to click like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments if you've got any questions. Until next time, thank you very much and bye for now. You can be losers, set me free.